Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Welcome back to my YouTube videos and blog, depending on where you're watching this. So I wanted to make a card using this uh, Wooly Lucky stamp set that comes in the Simon Says Stamp March card kit. I already did an unboxing video with the kit. I've done a card video using the other stamp set. I'll have those linked at the end. And I've had this set sitting here the last couple days because I, I had to use it. It just, this little llama, I don't know what it is, you know, llama images, they're so popular, but it's cause they're adorable. <laughs> so I decided to do a fairly clean and simple card focusing mostly on this llama cause he's just adorable. So I stamped him onto Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound cardstock with Simon's Intense Black Ink. And I showed at the beginning there, I was rubbing my fingers on the stamp. I like to do that with brand new stamps because in the manufacturing process, they don't always stamp perfectly. There's almost like a coating sometimes on them. So one, stamp platforms are a game changer, 100% make things so much better and two, doing little things like that. I like, you can use a, like a white eraser works really well too, especially with like solid image stamps. But I generally will just like rub my fingers or rub the palm of my hand really well and then ink it up a few times, clean it off if you need to, then it's like you've conditioned your stamp. So after I stamped it, I am using Copic markers to color him in. And I haven't watched the video yet, but I saw an image of a uh, the card Nicole Spore did using this llama and it was just it stuck in the back of my head I really like how a lot of times she'll add little like dots and texture I don't often do this but when I do it it you know kind of um just ups everything a notch so the image of that was in the back of my head when I was coloring him so after I colored in all his little fur I went in with the two darkest so the e44 and e43 and just added little dots just to give it that little bit of, you know, texture because he's woolly and he's, you know, fuzzy and cute. So I did that, added some pink to his little ears and then added some ground with my uh, W gray markers, so just warm gray, starting again, darkest to lightest because that's just what I do. Simple and quick and easy. So added some ground so he's not just floating there. And then I'm going to do um, brighter greens. I'm going to do two different shades, like her two different green combos because there's like the green of his little, you know, hat and everything. And then there's going to be these little shamrocks and I didn't want them to be the exact same. So I did his little hat and bow tie and the border on this little blanket with um, this first combo here. So again, darkest to lightest, because for me, that's just, it's become literally habit. I actually have to like stop and think if I want to go the normal way, you know, lightest to darkest. So I did that and then I used cool grays for the band on his hat and then I'm going to use just two shades of yellow. I didn't bother adding a third or anything like that because there's not a whole lot to color here and I did the main part of the blanket with yellow first before coloring in those shamrocks just so that I didn't have to be as careful with my coloring because the other greens will you know push it out. So I went in did that and then I used the second green combo to do the little shamrocks and whatnot just to, like I said, kind of mix it up a little bit. It's subtle, but it does, you know, differentiate it from the first green combo. So after I did all that, I'm adding in my highlights with my Jelly Roll 10 gel pen. And I'm also adding little more little dots just to really emphasize all those little dots I added. So adding just little dots and lines and highlights and whatnot. And then I also took my black glaze pen and carefully went over his nose. I also dotted his eyes because I really, when I remember to do this, it just adds so much. It really emphasizes them because sometimes with when they're just stamped, it's just, it's just not enough. So I did that, set that aside to let that dry, which doesn't take long at all. And for the sentiments, I am heat embossing them onto some... Um, green apple cardstock and I actually ended up doing both sentiments you'll see that in a minute but stamp them with clear embossing ink um, heat emboss them with detail white embossing powder and then I'm actually die cutting them with one of the nested talk bubbles wafer dies and then I also used the stitch rectangles wafer dies and I die cut the main image that I'd colored with that rectangle die and I also die cut one of the pattern papers that comes in the kit the lawn fawn really rainbow scallops six by six that's amazing of course so I did all my die cutting, set those aside, got my card base here, which is just heavyweight white cardstock, 
and stamp the llama on the inside with Simon's Sunshine ink. I chose that one because it goes with the cardstock I was using to frame the main image. So I stamped that and then this second sentiment was the one I had heat embossed and then die cut with that same nested talk bubble wafer die. And then I'm going to start just adhering everything together. And shockingly, I kept this card fairly simple. <laughs> Pretty much stuck to what is in the kit. Um, I had a million ideas like I was going to go all out and have like die cut sentiments and, you know, gloss and glitter and all the crazy, th like, you know, typical of me, you know, to use 20 million different products, like let's empty the craft room onto one card. Um, but I didn't, I kept it more simple, which is sometimes just fun and let the little main image speak for himself with his little speech bubble. So I adhered everything to my card base with craft tacky glue. I didn't even use foam tape. Shocker. I know. It's a struggle for me sometimes to keep it more simple. So <laughs> I adhered all that. And then as the last bit of just a slight embellishment, I'm using the little um, buttons galore and more Lucky Charms embellishments that come also in the kit. And same thing. I just, I kept it simple. I didn't add, you know, every single little embellishment that's in that pack. So just the green pearls and the little like clear crystals. And I adhered those into place with the craft tacky glue. And that is it. This card is done. It's super, super cute. Oh, I also dotted his eyes because I'd added the black glaze. And now that that's dry, I added just the lightest little white dots to them just to finish him off and finish off his cute little expression. So as always, there'll be a link below the video to my blog post. There'll be a supply list, links to all the supplies you use. So you can check that all out in the description box below the video, as well as on my blog, which is also always linked directly below the video. So you can check that out if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching and for subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.